Welcome. We're going to do a Speaking of Horses TV flashback. You know, this is uh, the year 2022, but in 2007, 15 years ago, we got started by going to the John Wayne Centennial Celebration in Winterset, Iowa for what would have been John Wayne's 100th birthday, May of 2007. So we're going to do some flashbacks right now of some of the interviews that we were lucky enough to acquire while we were Let's at the John Wayne Station. A Speaking of Horses TV 15 year flashback. <laughs> Welcome to Speaking of Horses once again. We're backstage just before the Cowboy Symposium starts here in Winterset uh, during the centennial celebration for John Wayne. Mr. A.C. Lyles again oh, with yeah. Paramount. Welcome and uh, thank you. you're going to be on the panel here in a little bit. I am, but first I have to tell you, I watched you yesterday introducing those in the parade, the units, and they had switched positions from the script they gave you and you had to ad lib some. I was amazed standing there by you, how you knew still from your memory, you look at it and what was coming in and how you could describe that and tell the names of the people on that float when you weren't watching your, your script. You were a marvelous at that and I stood there and just was in awe of how you did that. Particularly, I was in awe after you said the wonderful things about me when I arrived. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for that and, and I've done, I've done a lot of events where scripts come up on a little bit. They don't come like they come in Hollywood. They come on notepads from hotel rooms and all of this. And they say, here, you can read that, right? And you, pretty soon you learn to just get through it, okay? So thank you very much for that. But uh, how are you enjoying your weekend here? I tell you, number one, I'm living. And at my age, 89, <laughs> any day is a good day. It's like when you, Wayne, it's like when I get off of an airplane and someone comes over and says, AC, how was your flight? I'm back on land. It was a great flight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I was on a flight there. just the other day. I was doing an event in Albuquerque. I was flying back. We landed in Minneapolis. The pilot came on and announced it was his last flight because he was retiring. So we walk off the plane. We all signed a, a piece of paper and gave it's it to him. Oh, that's yeah, great. everybody on the airplane signed it for him for his last flight. Walked off and there's a bunch of pilots there with, you know, happy retirement, John or whatever. And, and I said, well, he's coming, I know. And, and uh, they said, well, how was the landing? I said, it was good. He said, you know, a good landing is when you walk away from it. All right. A great landing is when you can use the airplane again. <laughs> so it just cracked me up. I, I took a flight on TWA time, and the fellow on it had been there for years. And he did something I'd never seen before. He arrived early, and he passed out UC, uh, uh, USA Today, you know, all the all the people aboarding, and all the way across he would sing to him. He had, and he uh, tried to imitate Bing Crosby. And I was on one of his flights once, and it was his anniversary, and his wife was on the flight. And all the way across, he told a story about how they had met, and he sang songs that they did on their honeymoon and things. It was wonderful. It was great. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, we're glad to have you back and join us. We did an interview Friday night. Yes, sir. You're gathering backstage here, and we're talking to Dean Smith and Ed Faulkner. Yes. And Greg Palmer and all of the different people that are gathered and, and you were there and we had to talk to you again. Well, I tell you, it's a pleasure and I'm, I'm just so honored to be on the panel with all of my good friends, but particularly talking about Duke. As I said the other day, people say, why are you calling the Duke? I couldn't call him the John. And he <laughs> is, uh, he's really one of, any place you go in the United States, I don't know if I said this before, but all you have to say, United States, and. Where, where I've been, even in Japan, China, Russia, you say Duke, they know you're talking about John they know it. Wayne. And that's the only person I know in our business. Maybe but when you say Bogey, you know it's Humphrey Bogart. But Duke Wayne, I think, was an inspiration to America and to the youth of America. And he made all of us feel happy to be Americans. He brought patriotism back in our hearts. 
And when you saw a John Wayne picture, Wayne, you wanted to be on his side mm -hmm. because you know it was the good against the evil and the good was going to win out and John Wayne was going to be there ch charging him. And I tell you, in person and as a friend, it was the same way it was on the screen. He was very commanding of your attention and very commanding of your, of your friendship, but also extremely warm and, and extremely friendly with all of us. We'd have lunch together and we'd be around the studio a lot. And I'm very privileged that being at Paramount since I was on my 10th birthday, 79 years, to do what I love doing, making movies, working with all of these wonderful people. Thank you. I oh, can't tell you. My, AC, that, thank you. you oh, thank I appreciate you so that very much. And that pretty lady behind the, the pretty camera. pretty lady behind the camera. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, great. Thank AC, you. thank you very thank much. Thank you. For speaking of horses, Wayne Williams at the Cowboy Symposium.